and welcome to today's video. Today's video is something I am as excited as nervous for. I'm excited because I've been meaning to do this for a while. I'm nervous because I've never done something like this before. There are a lot of new kinds of videos that I'm trying to do with and for you guys. So as the title may have already told you, today's video is going to be a declutter video. I'm going to try and like do this in sections and parts where we conquer bags, we want to do clothes, I might even end up doing shoes. So stick around till the end of this video to get a glimpse of everything. I have in the past talked about um, giving you guys a little bit of an in to my wardrobe and showing you my collections of like different things. For example, I recently uploaded a video about my collection of sunglasses. Um, I've also shown you guys my collection of bags in the past which was something you guys gave me so much love for. Apart from which I also shared my collection of perfumes with you. So in today's video we're going to be like decluttering a few different parts I guess um, one of the things I for sure want to highlight before we really dive into this video is that it's going to be very organic I uh, I'm not a professional declutterer I have consulted with one like professional um, organizer declutterer in the past and I feel like I've adopted a few things and not adopted a few other things um, so I'll kind of like walk you through and talk you through why I'm keeping or why I'm letting go of certain pieces um, one of the things I get asked the most from you guys, oh god, um, when it comes to like collection stuff is that when I'm decluttering, what is it that I do with the pieces that I'm decluttering? For those of you who don't know, I run this page on Instagram called What When Wear Wardrobe. Um, so every time I'm decluttering, everything I put aside goes into like a donation section and um, the resources, the people that, you know, I uh, who are like our domestic help or families, domestic help or extended families, uh, domestic help, they're very free to come and pick absolutely anything up from this. Uh, having said that, the things that they don't typically tend to wear, like a lot of them don't tend to wear shorts for example um, or I, I, I kind of take like pieces of all sorts and give it to them as an option sometimes it's the leftover stuff that makes it to what when wear wardrobe sometimes I mean by now to be honest I just know by now what they're not gonna take like they're not gonna take like bodycon um, you know like body suits like the one I'm wearing right now so I know the stuff that they take and they don't take and I would rather you guys get the chance to buy this sort of pre-loved fashion which um, I've taken care of so I know it's in good quality if and when there may be a few like defects or marks I always tell you guys through my Instagram page through what when wear wardrobe and I sell it for like really reasonable rates as much as possible and all of the money 100% of it every single sent goes to charity so um, and I feel like some I also get to play the role of making fashion sustainable and not um, you know kind of like just not necessarily boosting fast fashion in the littlest ways that I can I'm happy to be able to help so let's not make this intro any longer you guys know the layout of my office room what I have over here is my bag section let's start with the bags Okay, so to start with, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a close-up of this section from my phone. Um, I have a bunch of shelves over here and basically today we're going to ignore the makeup section of this particular wardrobe. We're going to go into these two shelves which are my bags. There are a lot of pouches which we're going to ignore but there are most of my, like 99% of my handbags are here, clutches are here. Um, basically, this is like one of my favourite sections of my wardrobe, basically. So just giving you guys a close up and it's, oh god this door is creaking and it's pretty layered so like at the back there's another layer and the front has another layer so like there's two sections. We're going to do this guys, we're diving into this. Okay, so first things first, I just kind of want to put away the stuff that I know I absolutely am not giving away which is like my pouches and this is why I need to declutter. My pouches and stuff which are not going anywhere, I'm just going to kind of keep aside. Travel pouches, pouches in general, new bags, ever since I showed you guys my collection of bags, obviously there have been a ton of add-ons. Um, so today you'll get a glimpse of things while I will also be telling you which ones you can get your hands on. So this is a really cute denim bag that I picked up from Bangkok a couple of years ago. I love it. Unfortunately, somehow I haven't used it that much. So I definitely feel like I want to use it a little bit more before I decide to give it away. Um, but the good news 
is that I have a very similar square bag over here. This is so, so, so stunning. Um, I also picked this one up from Bangkok and I love the little navy details that run along with it. It's just really, really chic. Um, and I also picked up one more bag along with these two. Clearly, I was going through like a little bit of a box bag phase. So this is the third one from the set of three that I bought together. This is a really nice black and white one with gold hardware. It's really, really, really pretty. Um, I feel like bags like this are really unique. You don't get them everywhere. Yes, you are seeing literally um, all the pasara at the back also. Sorry about that. My office is always a mess. Um, and these bags are like really, really spacious. So I feel like this is stuff that's been really useful for me. This bag also, I've only somehow landed up using once or twice, but because I, I loved the box um, shape at that point of time, I just went with buying all three together. This one is gonna make it to the What When Wear wardrobe page. I have not really used this one as much, but I don't know why I love the color. I'm just so attached to the color, so I feel like I wanna hold on to this one just a little bit, but this baby is making it to the page. Another one of the bags I really love and unfortunately for some reason have not worn like enough is this really cute Forever 21 one. It's uh, white with this little studded detailing. I love what this bag looks like. Again, something I need to wear more of. By the way, I have a complete, in case you're wondering because you know I also launched my own collection of bags. I have that stored completely differently in a separate section altogether. So you're not going to see those here. I have every single one of those designs. We did 10 designs in the first collection. I'm hoping that we will do more. Um, after the lockdown, we'll have more clarity. But uh, basically, that's just stored separately in case you're wondering why you can't see those. Things. Then there was this other bag which I picked up from the same store. It was a set of four, not a set of three, my bag. I picked this one up also from uh, Bangkok. It's just really, really cute. Denim with the whole pink tan thing going for it. Um, I'm kind of confused about whether I should keep this or give this back. I always get so like sentimentally attached to certain things which is wrong. This should not happen especially in my line um, of work. It definitely shouldn't happen but it's just so pretty and cute and I'm like why did I not use this baby enough. So I kind of go back and forth on certain things for a little bit. But one of the bags that is going to be on What When My Wardrobe is this really, really, really sexy one. So I've actually worn this a lot. I have a lot of pictures with it, but I know so many of you have asked me about this every time I've uploaded an outfit picture with it. This one I picked up from Nordstrom.com, which is a website. I bought it from America and uh, it's a see-through bag. It's from a brand called Pixie Mood and it's really, really nice and spacious. It's a little slingy, like with the whole shoulder thing happening over here and you can wear it from across as well, um, which is really cool. Yeah, I'm kind of like looking at the monitor to make sure it's showing correctly to you guys. By the way, I'm wearing my extensions again today. I was in the mood to really glam up. Um, so this one is making it to the wardrobe page for sure. Now, here's a bag I've had for at least three years. This one is, I think, from H&M, if I remember correctly. Yes. Okay. So this one is from H&M and it's one of those like classic black and there's black texture work on it all over. I don't know if you can see, but it's got like self texture on it all over. It's got a beautiful, nice, simple gold uh, strap going all along. I love this bag. When I'm filtering things out, I think of a few things and I think I should tell you that. Um, first is, is this still my style like that's one of the reasons I don't land up buying a lot of like super trendy stuff because I like things that I can still use four years later and five years later um, even if like it's not a really high-end bag you guys know I'm not majorly into luxury or majorly into high-end um, a lot of my wardrobe that you're seeing over here will be like H&M and Forever 21 and there's Bangkok and then there's a little bit of an infusion of designer bags and stuff also like my Gucci or like my Furla um, I have this beautiful orange Michael Kors over here um, I have a little Bershka baby here or Charles and Keith so like it's a mix of like high-end and I think literally I own one luxury bag which is the Gucci that you guys uh, saw me buying in France around this time last year at my first ever Canton festival so the first question I always ask is is it still my style the second thing I ask myself is um, 
is this something that I have worn enough or can I get a couple of more wears out of it before I truly like I'm over it you know what I mean because like for example this is a beautiful beautiful bag and I would honestly normally have been like let's give this away because I somehow haven't worn it enough but every time I look at it I'm like no I can wear this a couple of more times just to make sure I get my money's worth on it before I'm like officially done with it so I feel like yeah, that, that little balance of have you worn it enough versus can you wear it a couple of more times to really like avoid shopping or avoid like you know having spent random money that's the second thing I always ask myself and the third thing I always ask myself while um, decluttering is are you gonna miss this you know what I mean like there are pieces that I don't land up reaching for much at all like even though this again is maybe that I've not reached out to as much I would miss this if I thought about it so like if I'm really gonna miss a certain piece I will hold on to it I might hold on to it for sentiment's sake I might hold on to it for um, oh I should just get a couple of more wears out of it so it really depends but these are like the three main things um, and then sometimes I'll go to a fourth thing which is how does wearing this or holding this make me feel so this one is a little bit subjective I know actually all of them are but I feel like how does it make you feel is sort of like do you feel good about using it do you feel good about wearing it do you feel good about styling it um, I kind of go into that little angle over there so this one I've loved and I have worn quite a few times for the longest time I thought it would just stay in my wardrobe because it's such a classic but I realized that I have taken good care of this and I shouldn't be selfish I think someone else should get the chance to um, to carry this one and to wear this one because it's just such a nice bag and I've moved on to like other blacks or I've moved on to I think my Gucci is the same yeah it's a black uh, but that's a black with a silver this is a black with a gold but every time I need a black bag I land up picking that up so I don't want something to go waste sitting with me essentially one of the bags I for sure need to be able to share with the world and not keep to myself anymore is this one I picked up this one from uh, Pull and Bear in Istanbul like literally just a year ago but I have worn it quite a bit I love this the color mustard um, and I just feel like I've worn this so much also I'm slightly getting over the the, the, the diagonal sling thing which I think that I like a lot but I'm not wearing as much at the moment so maybe this one I should put onto the wardrobe page it's just so smart I keep going back and forth on it uh, but I think I need to get over it and just put it aside and be like no Anam you've worn this a lot uh, time to you know kind of set it aside um, yeah I, th I think I should one of the other bags that I bought last year from Shein was this really cute belt bag the belt is right here also I've literally never worn it I need to get down to using these new bags that I have because I also bought two more from Zara that are sitting on my table in front of me which are obviously not being given away because they're brand new and they have tags on them but um, this one definitely does need to be given away for those you can check out my recent haul video I've shown you guys the new stuff I bought the last time I did shopping pre-lockdown basically hi guys okay welcome to part two of this video which is where I'm going to attempt to declutter my wardrobe first of all yes I'm wearing pajamas I want to be comfortable but I'm fully glam on top you might recognize this look from a post on my feed where I shot a makeup tutorial um, my cupboard is a colossal mess I have had no house help no assistant no help at all for the past three months now um, and obviously there's a lot of stuff in here I am going to try my best declutter I'm not organizing today I'm not making my wardrobe straight today that's gonna be a whole other day maybe a whole other video I'm not sure um, but I think it's time for me to tackle this it's something I've been procrastinating for a while just so you know that half of the cupboard is Jerry's and this half is mine we have sliding doors if you have not seen the actual way in which I store my things please go take a look at my original closet tour video there are things that have changed since then for sure but this is the first time I'm doing like a declutter on camera for clothes also FYI you may have already figured by now I have done and already uploaded a declutter makeup vanity video so please go take a look at that okay so now let's find out which of these clothes are gonna go into donations giving away files Instagram wardrobe that I have be prepared for the mess 
I'm telling you in advance, it's messy as hell, but I can't do much right now. I feel like I'm about to spill like a dirty secret on camera. Oh my god, this looks so bad. I'm not this messy usually, guys. Um, <laughs> I literally have things falling out at this point. Like, okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to sit and do this. I'm not gonna talk. I'm just going to rummage through and pull out the clothes that need to be given away. I need to do this really fast. I'm very emotional about my clothes. If you can relate, hit like on this video and tell me in the comments. I'm gonna go through it. This is not clothes, like this is a few Indian clothes, but I need to go through this area primarily. Um, and I think I need to dive into this. So time lapse, here we come. I will show you what the products, like what the clothes are that I'm gonna be giving away products. I will show them to you at the end, but for now, let's just take a time lapse. So basically my filter for giving out clothes is pretty much the same as it has been for my bags or for my makeup as well. Essentially, I'm looking to give away clothes that are still in great condition, but definitely, definitely have been worn by me quite a few times. In my line of work, I try to repeat my clothes as much as possible, but of course, there's only so many times I really can repeat them. Plus, all the clothes that I land up buying from Shein, I feel are like really nice, but at the same time, not necessarily things that I need to keep repeating. Like they're pretty cheap, so I don't feel guilty about wearing them a few times and then giving them away to someone else. I would much rather someone else have these clothes and wear them probably even a lot more than me since everything goes into donations in different forms anyway. Unlike the makeup that a part of which even if it's just a small part that goes to my friends and family with clothes everything I move aside goes into donations in one form or the other. So I really don't feel very guilty about buying new clothes, using them for my job and then giving them away to different people. Okay, I have to be honest and tell you that not as many clothes came out as I myself was wishing but what I did realize is that we're in June right now and I did a wardrobe declutter in Feb. I have taken out about 6 or 7 pairs today um, so I'm glad at least something is coming out that will definitely go to people. Uh, keep an eye on what from my wardrobe if you want to get your hands on some of these clothes that might make it to the page. But I guess we'll have to do another one really soon make sure I'm really giving away more stuff. Maybe I should do this as a regular thing, as a regular exercise to film these videos as I'm doing it because you guys did seem to enjoy the makeup decluttering. Um, so leave a comment and tell me down below if you guys want me to do more of this. I was also going to make a part 3 by the way which was about shoes but I already went through that earlier on and there are no shoes to give away because I gave out about 20-25 pairs of shoes again earlier this year in Jan Feb when I did like my major major declutter. I'm kind of feeling bad that there are only so many clothes coming out but then I feel like at least these are also coming out and being given to people so I'm kind of glad about that. What I am gonna film next time for sure is when I sit to really organize my space whether it's my makeup or my clothes collection um, and every time I declutter maybe we should just do this as a regular like series. I do by the way have a playlist called organizing slash decluttering which I will link in for you guys so take a look at that also down below in the info box. This is basically where I've talked about organizing my spaces and even organizing my life in the past so if you like that kind of content you might want to check that playlist out. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. It's been shot over two different days and uh, I've taken out whatever I can despite the declutter earlier. But uh, I hope you just get a sense of the kind of filters I put on my on my giving away system, on my taking out system, on my declutter system. Don't forget to hit that like button if you did enjoy this video and click on that bell icon and turn your notifications on on your phone so that you actually get the alert for all of my upcoming videos. I'm very very active here on YouTube as well as on Instagram so make sure you guys are following me on Instagram as well by the way I'm also on TikTok now and I absolutely love TikTok I've been having so much fun on it so come follow me there as well if you like thank you for watching guys I love you bye